She told me we met once. All that time ago. You were among her many siblings. They all, in time, died fighting in the war. All save for you. <laughs> then Sombron was imprisoned, and Lady Vale's mother died, leaving her alone. She could find no friends in an age when it was rumored a last fell dragon child had survived. Lady Vale lived in hiding, knowing that were she discovered, she would be killed. A thousand years living with them. All alone that whole time? Not exactly. A few centuries ago, she came into contact with worshippers of the Fell Dragon. In their care, she slept in a hidden temple until Lord Sombron's release. She had been, long ago, close with those in that temple. But when she recently awoke... They were all dead, weren't they? So Lady Vale was relieved, even overjoyed, to find herself reunited with Lord Sombron. He detested her and proclaimed her a defect, lacking a fell dragon's abilities and character. Sombron required her obedience, however, so he ordered Zephia to tamper with her nature. Lady Vale may have thought she was no longer alone, but she's never been more so. Ever. How awful. What is it, Marnie? Is it the waves? Are you seasick? No, I'm trying not to cry. Yeah. But well, I never knew Lady Vale's life was so sad. I thought sad. I was the one with the tragic story. I should have maybe been nicer to her. You think? Probably. Can you have it. never told me of your past, Marnie. That's certainly uh, I mean, you know, happens all the time. I was just abandoned by my mom, that's all. Uh, I had a lot, a lot of brothers, and she decided she didn't need a girl. Cold. Which is weird, since I was way superior to those useless jerks even back then. I mean, I was better at helping her, but she never said thank you. Okay. Or good job. Or for her the life. first time we went for a walk, just us. So she could find somewhere to dump me. Imagine. Uh, my hand in hers, and we're strolling from place to place. She left me at a church. I uh, can't believe it. Too, it's fine. Shazam, the priest was nice. As long as I helped free Lord Sombron, I got lots of thank yous. Eventually, I met Zephia and joined Pounds. See? Lady Vale's story is so much sadder. Zephia filled out the four hounds with devout followers of the Fell Dragon. Did that include you, Javier? Yes. Yes. I was there at the hidden temple where Lady Vale slept. When she awoke, I was there to speak with her. She, a royal dragon, asked me to be her friend. I said it was impossible. Lady Vale then asked if I could offer my service to her as a knight. And you accepted? Yeah. That I could not refuse. It's a big deal to be handpicked like that by royalty. Who would have thought? Yeah. You made her knight? That's just cool. I mean that, Mavier. That's really cool. Oh, okay. Should you wish, I am sure Lady Vale would also accept you as her knight. What? No way. I don't want to work with you that much. No praise, no thank yous. I hate you. Is that so? Besides, I already belong somewhere. I need to get back to Zephia. Since you're helping the Divine Dragon, you're probably going to get kicked out of the hounds. I expect as much. Yeah, well, I like being one of the four hounds. As soon as we're off this boat, we're enemies. You do hate me, after all. So, surely, you'll be happier. Right. So, yes. I'm done talking. This is a waste of my time. Javier, thank you for telling us all of that. When we find Vale, I hope you will do what you think is best for her. Even if that means we'll cross blades again. That's true. I shall. Such the nature of the war, everyone has a d deep backstory. Done things are not proud of. What's happened to Lethos? Hmm. The land, it's fallen to rot and ruin. A sure sign of Gradlon's return. Or that our foes are now destroying the Divine Dragon Shard. Time's not on our side. Best be fair. We have to stop, Sombron. Where is the shard? It's in the castle. 